So what I've been up to, I uh, added this little strap for a single tank. I put it on that side because this is the direction the door is going to swing since it's going to be in the front here. See the birds didn't like my new paint job. I haven't got the chain on yet. I haven't moved it yet. Ah, birds? Not everywhere. Anyway, went to e-trailer and look at the pile of goodies. Grease caps, bearings, dust seals, brakes, backing plates, new drums, everything I need, which means those can go into the scrap metal pile. The only damage in shipping I had was, yeah, beyond the stud here, the, uh, you probably can't see that, but, no, you can't, not with this thing. Anyway, there's just a little slight, uh, dent in the top threads, so I can't get that started by hand, but I'll mess with that. Uh, that's a whole lot better than with the other ones. If you saw the other video, you can see how bad the old ones were. Yeah, considering these are just the uh, little 10 by 2 and a quarters, 4 on 4 and a half, I mean, it's... You might as well just replace them, because uh, these are like the cheapest <laughs> there are. So, that'll give me something to do. Really don't need to uh, do a video on installing those because there's probably enough videos on YouTube plus the e-trailer website. They've got installation videos and there's no point in me adding one more to the mix for no reason. Anyway, spin you around this way. Trailer, I got it covered in tarp because it's supposed to rain for like three days and I just did some uh, caulking the seals now that I've put the uh, sides where they stay up. So I caulked those over and then I, you know, patched the paint in a couple of places where the bungee straps and stuff were all wearing through the paint because I have a, a, a buyer for that. So that will be gone. Eventually, this fifth wheel back here is going to be tore down to the frame. I'm not going to do anything with the frame. I used to own this trailer many, many years ago. Sitting back here. It was really nice champagne edition, 32 foot. Now it's been leaking for many, many years because nobody has maintained the uh, roof. It's nasty in there. It's got mushrooms growing black mold. I mean, it's a health hazard, so no one's touched it. But we're thinking about maybe taking the windows out, letting it air out and dry out a little bit when the weather clears up, and take it apart. That'd be kind of a, some fun videos to do. See what happens if you don't maintain your roof. Anyway, not much else going on around here. They say just small projects. I'm gonna go ahead and use these tires and wheels, these little 14s, while I'm just while I'm working on it. And then later on, I mean I could buy the new tires now, but that just means it's gonna be sitting you know for quite a while on the new tires. So I'll just get them after I get the short walls on the sides and stuff done. I've got fenders that are, haven't come in yet. They're ordered. They're somewhere in a truck in the middle of the country somewhere. So that's uh, kind of it. Just waiting for more stuff. I've been slowly ordering uh, wrought iron hardware for our Dutch door for the front. I will be taking those out to add a little extra paint to them because one of the handles came in as a sort of a uh, faux rust looking color so I painted it black but my black doesn't match the satin that everything else came in so I'm just gonna do them all in gloss and then let them all fade out evenly anyway that's the only thing new right now so yeah I'm real shaky today so <laughs> barely hanging on to this thing in a just a couple of fingers anyway later on guys Put a little bit of a shine on these things so they're not that matte black or satin black, whatever it was. I suppose. Still good enough. I, want to, I just wanted everything to match this one. Pole handle's kind of on a weird bend, but yeah. Got this pole handle. These hinges for the upper and lower part of the doors. The hasp. This lock is more of a novelty kind of thing, just because it was cool. And this will be for the inside of the Dutch doors. I'm not going to worry about painting that because I don't need to. Yep. This way. 
at least look like they match. All these blacks are just slightly different from each other. Alright, time to put on another coat.